Hey everyone, it's Kat and Amber. We are wandering soup, and today we have just finished brunch. And what's the name of the restaurant, babe? Artemia. So good. Yeah, here's a picture of what we had. Uh, very good. I had French toast. Amber had some Thomas uh, stuff. Yeah, Mediterranean toast. That's what it was. It's salad. So good. All right. So what we noticed though while we were eating out is that people in Merida so far tend to dine like slow right would that be the good best word to say slow? yeah like it's just different from America and there's a lot of cultures like this but we really appreciate it here it's just more a relaxed pace right when you're in a restaurant it's not the let's turn these table over type right. of thing All right like this is Saturday brunch Generally in America, I love brunch. Don't get me wrong, it's like one of my favorite things in the world. But you go, you, you're there three or four hours, but at least an hour to an hour and a half of that is waiting on a table. Mm. Right here, you're seated and people order their drinks. 30 minutes later, they order their food. 30 minutes later, they eat, or they, you know, they eat slowly, they're talking. Yeah. Uh, there's just this vibe, this it's an experience. Right, it's just so much slower pace. I don't even when I say 30 minutes, it actually may be 45 minutes before the, between the drink order and the food order. And then it takes a minute for the food to come. There's no rush to get it to your table. They're thinking that you're here for the experience as well. You're with your family, your friends. Right, nobody's rushing you. Nobody's rushing you at all. It's a great experience. I mean, we were sitting and watching people around us and we were like, didn't they get here before us? Why are they just getting our food? We're finishing up our food. Right. Did we do something wrong? And the thing is, we're just thinking like America, you know, you get in, you get out. Because... They want to turn over the table, and there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. That's the business of America. But still, it's a good experience, right? And I be hungry. So I'm not even going to pretend like I'm chilling that hard. When I get there, I'm pretty much ready to eat. Right. So, you know, but that might be, you know, the American in me. Right. Or just the hungry black woman in me. I don't know. Right. <laughs> so that was our brunch experience today. And now we're walking. Just got dropped off an of Uber, and uh, I'm trying something different, y'all something more you know we talked about the meal was relaxing the environment was relaxing mm -hmm. and you know since I'm so relaxed I thought I would try a new hobby oh uh, yeah I see the dip <laughs> and the dip uh, the hobby is I'm going to learn how to crochet while I'm here why not why not right and I'm relaxed so this should be a new stress thing right a new test a new stress and we're at this place here we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna look for some crochet stuff. And uh, we're gonna tell you about a few more things that we've noticed about Merida. Some laws that you may need to uh, know about if you're thinking about coming here. Right, Amber? Let's do it. Let's go. Notice Amber's new green hair. Say something about your hair, Amber. Ooh, 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 ooh. Verde, it's muy verde. I love it. Mucho gusto.
All right, y'all. That was a bust. No crochet. They had everything else though. Everything. Seriously. If you look for something, this is a store except for crochet knitting. And scrapbooking. I didn't see any scrapbook stuff there. But pretty much everything else. Every other hobby you can think of craft-wise. Yeah. Is in there. So we're going to move over to the next store. We're not too far from here. And let's go talk about it there. So we made into this store, which has yarn. I'm assuming this is what I need. I don't know. But hey, one of the things we're talking about laws or things in Merida that you maybe want to want to be aware of in Mexico in general. You know, a lot of people are on vacation, right? They want to drink, they want to party. So it's actually against the law to be drunk and disorderly in public. It's also against the law drunk and drinking and driving as well. So if you get pulled over here in Mexico, you go to jail. Um, your family has to supply your food. They don't feed you. So this is not the place to come and get a little ignorant. It really is. Unless you're with a group of people who are willing to feed you until they release you. So I guess yeah, my best advice is to get drunk in, uh, on a Monday and not on a Friday where you'll stay in jail all weekend. Tip. Pro tip. So I don't know what color we're going to get, but we're going to find out. Okay, y'all, so we're in the hobby store and we're getting our, our next hobby on. Speaking of hobbies, if fishing is one of yours and you wanna fish in Mexico, um, if you go out with a group of people to fish, everyone on the boat has to have a fishing license. That's the law here, not sure why, but that's it. So, even the babies. Oh, even, yes, even children have to have a license to, be, to go along on the fishing trip. So just be ready and get your fish on. That's right. pretty colors I just don't know what I mean anyway one of the things you need to think about here is that um, this is not America guns are not legal um, so you can't have a gun here and uh, speaking of guns protesting uh, yeah as a foreigner you can't protest here you may want to think about that uh, you can be an activist on paper but you may not want to go to any of the rallies uh, which may get kicked out of the country pro tip don't bring a gun. Don't go to the rallies. Not as a demonstrator. You may go as a supporter, stand on the sidelines and things like that. But if you didn't do it in America, don't come here and do it. but it's definitely a need to know. If you're renting a car in Merida, you do have to have uh, insurance that includes liability. Have to have that. Um, it's best to look for a policy that will include legal representation and a bail if, in case 
there's a need for that. Um, especially one that has provides that service 24 hours a day. So just something to think about because when you first come to Merida, you might want to <clears throat> whip around a bit. But you're going to need that insurance to rent a car. Alrighty y'all, we are back in the house. It's hot as all. Maybe not, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I got my um, needle for crocheting and I got something for um, knitting as well because I, I just don't know yet. I'm gonna try both of them. Um, She's a renaissance woman. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, cost for everything I got today was around 289, 289 pesos, which is slightly less than 15 bucks. So for, you know, first foray into all this, that's a pretty cheap experience. Got to see two great stores. Uh, told you guys about some laws of the land that you might want to consider. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go back because Amber found some material she wants. She wants to do a skirt. We're trying new things, y'all. Just new things here in Merida. The energy is here for it. It's a beautiful experience so far. Whew. And it's hot. I'm, I'm going through something today. I don't know why. <laughs> it is hot outside. It's breezy, but the, the sun is, is out there for real. Yeah, I mean, it's only like 90 something. I'm not saying it's 2,000 degrees, but for some reason, I'm just feeling it today. So I'm going to come inside and chill, cool off, take a quick shower, and get to knitting or crocheting. Or whichever one comes to me easiest, because <laughs> that's really my goal for this thing. Uh, I am Kat. And Amber. We are Wondering Soup. Be sure to like, follow, share, subscribe, do all those things. Also, tell us below which one you think I should do first. Um, you know. One of them, one of them. And uh, you know, tell Amber what type of skirt she should do. She has this material. I don't know what skirt she's looking at, but it's gonna happen. We'll see you in the next video, y'all. Peace and love. <laughs>